With Firebase Hosting, you can upload and deploy your Flutter web application to a website to a specific domain. And we will look specifically at how we can host our Flutter website to a domain which is provided by Firebase. And later we will also connect it to our custom domain. In this tutorial, I want to show you two variants. The first one is that you manually upload your project to Firebase and then it is deployed to your website. And the second variant is that you use GitHub and every time if you push your project to GitHub, then it will automatically deploy your project to your domain. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. This video is sponsored by Invoice Ninja. Invoice Ninja is one of the largest open source platforms for invoicing. If you search for something to manage your invoices with Flutter and handle also your online payments, this service might be something for you. And to get started with this Invoice Ninja plugin, you find the link in the description box of this video. For the following steps, you need to have NPM installed on your system. Therefore, you simply go to nodejs.org and then you can download it here and install it. Alternatively, you can also type here brew install node in your console and then also NPM will be installed on your system. Let's get started by manually uploading and deploying our web project to Firebase and therefore I have created here this newsletter which I want to upload to the internet. For the manual upload you need to type here first of all this command and this will install the Firebase tools so that you can use Firebase in your console. And now we can use the Firebase command so you can type Firebase login and then you type here no and now a new page will open up where you need to choose your Google account. And after you have chosen your Google account, you also need to allow it. And now it says Firebase login successful and you should also see it here in your console. Now we want to configure our Firebase so that we can upload our website to Firebase. Therefore, I go here to console firebasegoogle.com and then I create a new project. Then give it simply a name and click on continue. For the second step, you can disable Google Analytics and create your project. And then you click here on continue. Within the left navigation, you go then to hosting and click on get started. And now you can skip here the first step and the login is also what we already did. So you can copy here the next step, Firebase init. The next step is to go to the root folder of your Flutter project. So simply make sure that you are here within the root folder of your Flutter project inside of your console. And this is really important because the next step will do some configuration for our project and therefore we type here this Firebase init. Here you go with the arrow keys down to hosting and select with space the hosting and then enter. For the public directory we set here build slash web and with this we basically define our build folder for our website application which is then deployed to Firebase. So this is one of the most important steps to set. Then click enter. Here I define yes because we want to use single page app and here we select no. And if you want to override the index HTML, I select here also no. And now you should see here that we have completed with our initialization and we can go over to the next step to build our application and to deploy it to Firebase. The next two steps are always used if you do some changes to your Flutter application and you want to update it in your website and then you simply call here Flutter build web and this command you always need to run in the root folder of your Flutter project which you want to deploy. Now that our Flutter web application is compiled and built, we can run here Firebase deploy and this Firebase deploy will then take our build folder and upload it to Firebase. At the end you should see here deployed complete and this means everything was successful. Now you can copy this link and open it up in your browser. And sometimes you might see this issue that the website is not running and we have here this welcome message and this is also what we can fix. And this error can come from this Firebase init command and here you see the project location of your web application and here Firebase determines the wrong location and this is what we want to quickly fix. 
And how you do this is by simply going to the location in your folder structure and then you need to find these three folders, the Firebase build and Firebase JSON, and you simply delete it. And after it, you need to run Firebase init again in your root folder of your Flutter web application. And then you see that he has taken this time the right location and put here this Firebase project inside. And now you need to continue with the same steps here like what I have shown you before. After it, you need to go to the console, click on next. We don't need to add here a Firebase SDK, so we can skip this step and then you can continue here to the console. In the console within the hosting tab, you see then here all of the domains which Firebase provide for you automatically. So you have here two different domains and you simply can click on one. And now you see that my Flutter project was here successfully hosted on this website. Now we learned about how to manually push our project to Firebase. However, we can also connect our Firebase account with GitHub and then every time if we push to our GitHub project, then it will automatically build and deploy the app to Firebase. And therefore I have made here a change to our newsletter and I have made it in the color of blue. And now we want to update our project on Firebase and this is what we want to do over GitHub. And again, I want to emphasize you can also make it manually. So you simply put here Flutter build web inside. And after you run this command, you type then Firebase deploy and then also the website will be deployed. Now let's create this automatic workflow for GitHub. And therefore I simply put here a folder inside called dot GitHub. And here inside we have another folder workflows and here you have your main JAML file. And within this main JAML file, we basically build our website and we also deploy it with Firebase. And you can basically get here this code and the code of my whole project with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a more advanced developer. Within this file, we also need to do some small modification. And then you go here to your Firebase console to the hosting section and here you simply copy this out of your URL, which is your project identifier. Secondly, you could also get this identifier out of this link here. And then you go here down within our main JAML file to the deploy section. And then you need to change here these arguments. So after these hostings, you need to put your project identifier inside. Next, we need to go inside of our console and type here Firebase login CI. And then a website should open up where you choose your Google account. And here you come then to this page and which you also need to allow. And then it should say here success. And here you get a token which you need to copy. And then you go to the GitHub project where you actually have uploaded all the files of your web application and also this GitHub workflows folder. And within this project, you go to the settings. And then you scroll here down to the secrets and after you create here a new repository secret and you paste then here as a value your key inside. And as a name I put here Firebase token inside so make sure that you type it here correctly. And then you click here on add secret and basically the secret which we have defined here is now used within our project. And here you see we use this Firebase token which we have defined and this is used for deploying our app later to Firebase. Right now our newsletter has still a red color and that's what we want to change right now. Therefore we go to the console and update our project via GitHub. So I push it simply to the repository and then you can go within your GitHub project to the actions tab. And here you should see the blue color is running and basically it is now building the project and then also deploying the website to Firebase. You can also click here inside and then you also see the process. So he is building the website and then he is deploying it. And then you should see after some time that everything was deployed successfully and we can go again to our web page and reload it. And sometimes there are some cache issues like you can see he is still showing here the red page instead of the blue page. And therefore you can also create a new tab. So I duplicate this tab 
and then he is loading the new web page. Or otherwise, if you face other cache problems, then you also can delete your cache within your browser and then open the web page again up. And now you see everything works here fine. We have here the blue color for our newsletter. And all in all, this workflow here is really convenient for you. So you don't need to build your project and deploy your project and wait until it is finished. You simply can directly push your changes to GitHub and then you can directly work further on your project. And in the background, GitHub will care about that your project will be deployed to Firebase. And lastly, I want to show you how you can deploy your Flutter web application to your own custom domain. And therefore you simply click here on add custom domain within the hosting section of your Firebase console. And here inside you need to put then your domain inside. In this case, I take simply my domain and click on continue. After it, we need to copy these both values and go to our domain provider. And within your domain provider, you need to go to your DNS, your domain name system. And here you need to go to the A records and then you can add one. And now you simply take here the first A record from your website and then paste it here inside where your IP address is and click on save. And we also need to add a second one. And therefore you go back to the console and copy the second value and you also put it here inside and save it. After this configuration step, you need to wait up to 24 hours until Firebase actually verifies the ownership of your website and this can take some time. Now after some hours, you can always go back to your Firebase console and refresh it and then after some time, you should see that your domain is connected and then you can click here on your domain and like you can see, everything was uploaded and deployed successfully to my custom domain. And all in all, you have then here these three domains for your Flutter web application. And as a hint, Invoice Ninja has built an app with Flutter for managing invoices. And this Flutter app is open source and you can check it out, this app and also the source code on GitHub. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!